Today our topic is multiplying and dividing real numbers. So our essential question, how can I multiply and divide real numbers? Rules for multiplication and division. You are multiplying a positive number by a positive number. Your answer is going to be positive. If you are multiplying a negative number by a negative number, your answer is going to be positive. If you multiply a positive number by a negative number, your answer is negative. And if you multiply a negative number by a positive number, your answer is going to be negative. Same basic rules for division. If you divide a positive number by a positive number, your answer is positive. And if you divide a negative by a negative, your answer is positive. If you divide a positive by a negative, your answer is negative. If you divide a negative by a positive, your answer is negative. So in summary, if you have, if you multiply or divide the same sign, your answer is going to be positive. So that's right here. Same sign, they were both positive or both negative, your answer came out to be positive. However, if you have different signs, your answer is going to be negative. Now this is just for multiplication and division, so don't confuse these with your addition and subtraction rules. Let's do some practice. Negative 8 times 5. We have a positive times a negative, which gives us a negative. So our answer is going to be negative, and then 8 times 5 is 40. Negative 12 times negative 5, we have a negative times a negative, which gives us a positive. Our answer is going to be positive. 12 times 5 is 60. 7 times negative 6, we have a positive times a negative, which is going to give us a negative answer. And then 7 times 6 is 42. If you're a little rusty on your multiplication facts, I did give you a multiplication table. That is below. So if we did 7 times 6, we would go to 7 and then find 6, find where they meet up, which is at 42. So if you need that chart, please use it. Negative 32 divided by 8. Negative divided by a positive is a negative. So our answer is going to be negative. And then 32 divided by 8 is 4. If you want to know how to use your chart for division, Find 32 on there. We have 32 divided by 8. So we go to the 8 column and we find 32. We scroll down until we find 32, which is right there. And then we see where it connects, which is at 4. So 32 divided by 8 is 4. 48, negative 48 divided by negative 6. A negative divided by a negative, same sign, gives us a positive answer. 48 divided by 6 is 8. Negative 56 divided by negative 4. We have negative divided by negative, which gives us a positive answer. 56 divided by 4 is going to be 14. Negative 3 times 5 times negative 4. We're going to start with this negative 3 times 5 piece. Negative times a positive gives us a negative. So negative 3 times negative 5 is going to be negative 15. Then we have to multiply by negative 4. So times negative 4. Negative times a negative is a positive. 15 times 4 is 60. Last piece, we have negative 4 times 8 divided by negative 2. Multiplication and division are at the same level in PERMDAS. So we just go from left to right. We do the negative times the positive, which is going to give us a negative. So negative 4 times positive 8 is negative 32. Add this divided by negative 2. We now have a negative divided by a negative, which is a positive. So our answer is going to be positive. 32 divided by 2 is 16. So our answer is positive 16. On the back of your notes, we have decide whether each statement is true or false. If x is negative, then x squared is positive. Well, let's talk about that. Give us a negative number. If x is negative, let's say x is negative 4. 
then x squared is positive. Well, x squared means x times x. So we would do negative 4 times negative 4. A negative times a negative is a positive. So this would be positive 16. So it does come out positive, so this would be true. If the product of three numbers is positive, then all three numbers are positive. So if the product of three numbers is positive, then all the numbers are positive. Well, positive times positive would be positive, times positive would be a positive. But is that the only case that that would happen? No, because if we did a negative times a negative, that would be a positive, then multiply by a positive, then that would also give us a positive. So this is false because it's not the only case that that would happen. <coughs> And then last, if the product of four numbers is zero, then at least one of the numbers is zero. That is the only way to make zero when you're multiplying, is to multiply by zero. So we'd have to do four times five times three times zero. Well, four times five would be 20, times three would be 60, and then bring down that zero times zero would be zero. So at least one of the numbers does have to be zero. So that is true. Last piece, error analysis. That means find the error. What did they do wrong? Ms. Tidrick had this problem, but she made a mistake. And you need to find it and correct the error. So if we look through this problem, describe the, and correct the error and simplify the expression. So we start here. This is where we start. Remember, this fraction by right here means to divide. So we're doing negative 12 minus 18x divided by negative 6. So we're really dividing both pieces, so we can split it up into two groups. We can do negative 12 divided by negative 6 minus 18x divided by negative 6. All right. Well, then we say that negative 12 divided by negative 6 is negative 2. Bring down the minus sign, and then negative 18x divided by negative 6 is negative 3x. A double negative makes a positive, so we bring that down and do negative 2 plus 3x. Where did Ms. Hedrick make her mistake? Think about it for a sec. All right, let's double check that division. Negative 12 divided by negative 6. A negative divided by a negative is a positive. Right here, it should be positive 2 not negative 2. So this final answer should be positive 2 plus 3x. We need to make sure we're doing our division and multiplication correctly when we're working with positives and negatives. All right, that's all the notes I have for you today. Thank you for watching this video, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel.